everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. I am just going to put it out here. This is not, I specifically do not want to dunk on this channel. I specifically do not want to say anything like, oh my God, ha 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 ha. No, I don't want to make fun of this channel because as far as I know, this channel has not been doing anything negative. They are just suffering from not being supported by Nidhi Sanji. I want to bring out the negative of Nidhi Sanji. This is what they do to their livers. This is what they do to people who are actually trying to do something to, you know, make content, to make things interesting, to make things fun. Um, this was 33 minutes into their live. And of course, sometimes you can say 33 minutes isn't a long time. You know, some people can start going in, etc. But still, it is not good to see anybody in Nidhi Sanji get these types of numbers. I saw that not a lot of folks ever mentioned much about the KR side of Nidhi. So I wanted some people to know about Ban Hada and wish her the best. The entire, uh, within the confines of the company, that's all since I enjoy for her from time to time. All of KR members are on life support as far as I know. The only reason is why they don't quit is that I don't think there's a decent Korean VTuber agency. Yeah, I think all other agencies are even worse than Nidhi Sanji, if you can believe that, in Korea. Uh, I don't know what Korean scene is like compared to the English one, but I see the numbers get topped by indies. And not huge indies, just regular indies. Is Isegye from Korea. They're the top five in the world right now. Uh, although... They're a more idle agency than streaming agency. Also, I wonder if there are those who in the KR and ID branch would be saved after the merge. Like, we don't know that what's going on here. If simply going away from the click can save KR branch, then in no way none Bora will leave and get successful somewhere else. Man, I also miss a day Suha has interacted with EN, almost like Mika of KR, uh, much more hinged than say so, and than say so. None Bora left KR before merge and way better now in Vispo. Ah, okay. She's doing much better now. I've seen some of her regular gaming streams, over 7k views recently, and she started uh, about how Vispo management basically helped her through the entire process of moving to Japan. Okay, so there are some people that are getting successes after that. Check back in, apparently this is her just Twitch VOD. She uploaded to YouTube, and was just mistakenly thought it was a YouTube stream from her. So a bit of a correction. It looks like that. Don't think she's really actually in full life support, but still, still doesn't look good in general. I mean, Doki and Tenjin are collaborating these days, but still, um, Anybody in Nidhi Sanji getting these types of things means that Nidhi Sanji is failing them. That's the way I'm taking it. Like I said, I don't want to dunk on a specific talent, especially one that hasn't done anything bad. It's just sad to see this because they're, they're creators just like me. They're people just like me who are trying to create something for their, their community. The crazy Walmart Pekora. She called herself, I believe, Walmart Pekora or other people called her Walmart Pekora, but that's what she's known as a lot for a lot of people. Pippa. Her live viewer counts for outdated ramen cooking. What do you mean by outdated is expired ramen. She ate expired ramen. It is um, freeze dried or whatever, or like, you know, uh, dehydrated so it can last a bit longer, but it does have an expiration date as everything does. Nearly 2.5 bananas in the waiting room before stream, which was this 733. But Pippa is extremely popular. She got popular with the, even more popular with the base take that she had on um, Hogwarts Legacy and other base takes that she has. She's had a lot of haters. Not gonna lie, she has a lot of haters, but she's, uh, Schizo Rabbits are proud of them. Painful in a good way. You still have no idea she missed with the egg. Oh boy, she even tried scooping it up with the pot. Takes genuine skill to miss with an egg. I see viewer icon close longer. Yep, exactly. So here's her full one. She had 4,681 viewers at this specific time. Of course, I always mention, take this with a grain of salt, especially when it comes to, uh, things like this. Because, you know, you can use the spec element, you can use other things like that, but she always does have good ones for these type of streams, so I don't believe that people did inspect element on this one, but it is a snapshot of a moment, so just take it as a snapshot of a moment. She did have good time, she had a lot of fun, it was hopefully her stomach is doing well, hopefully her stomach hasn't suffered because of this, but yeah, the Schizo Rabbit did some uh, expired ramen taste test stuff, so let's... Let's hope that she's doing well today. We had mentioned before about the two uh, seemingly sisters, the one that was uh, black hair and the one that's white hair or, or gray hair, silver hair, uh, that had been knocked out. P2Y had been knocked out. This one as well might have been suspended, most likely because of the fact they are in Japan. Defamation laws, all that kind of stuff hits hard in Japan. Uh, YouTube slash Google slash whatever will comply with requests, and then you have to actually fight it, as I'm experiencing right now. Um... For those who are clueless, Amity is a VTuber news and also gossip news drama channel covering both Hololive and Nidhi Sanji. Well known for bringing Nidhi Sanji bad news 
through tons of videos. It's a channel that we may have got the information of Ash Ashiki Niji Liver moderator slandering Suisei from Hololive and this, um, you know, this person's channel, which was the AI uh, sister. Uh, 20th of May may have been reported by Maria that the channel has been uh, disappeared completely. This sister reported it that they, the Amity one is the the one that is, uh, I think, the two sisters, the um, the uh, the ones that have, uh, you know, different colored hair. I'm going to, yeah, they're going to mark that this person's Amity channel has been knocked out more than likely. Another one, actually, it's not even the gray haired ones. It's another one. So they may have been knocked out, uh, suspended, you know, that type of thing. So it's unfortunate. Uh, like I said, the YouTube, Google, whatever complies with requests in that specific space. Maria also reported on Russell Tuber event, also referenced and translated some comments from the subreddit. Of course, it got taken down. Yeah, because Nidhi Sanji doesn't like bad news. Nidhi Sanji doesn't like bad things happening. So they try to take down what they can. They can't take down the ones in the West. So they take down the ones in the East over there in Japan. We're going to go over a little bit of uh, this person that we won't mention because, of course, we won't mention the names because the person gets off on being recognized, pretty much. So uh, you can guess who this is. We all know who this is. It's the one who switched from being Mint's favorite fan to the Bantome stuff. Um, they said they were saying that there was an 80% drop in viewership. It was only 40% uh, from episode one to two. Episode one was Mint's re-debut. So that, of course, got a lot more uh, membership, a lot more viewership. Despite being unconnected, the podcast is still a series of people will naturally drop off as time goes on. And then, you know, people will stay because podcasts, the first one is kind of like just the the intro, the um, and then, you know, where the effect can wear off on people. And of course, it will drop. People will either drop or stick with it. Uh, no effort to prove people wanted to gossip and revenge from the podcast. Just an unfounded claim. And if people thought that that's what it was going to be, that's their fault for thinking that because that's not what they wanted to do. They just wanted to chat, have fun, talk about different topics and do what people do on a podcast. There's evidence for people wanting to gossip and revenge. How many people are actually saying that? It's more than say 1K or just a small group of aunties that are inevitable almost any online setting to represent a whole group off of what very small portion of them does is, is fallaciously stupid. People uh, just might not like the podcast tuned into episodes one and two. If it's not their thing, then of course people are gonna drop off. It's not because people don't like them. It's not because people hate them. It's because podcasts are a niche product and they will drop off. The podcast is still doing fine. Channel has 52.5k subs. Currently views from 38k. 69% of their subs watching. That's still very, very good. I have yet to see this person make a single well-informed good faith argument. We all know who it is at this point. It's that mint, that bint bent home, whatever it was called. Uh, actually, an embarrassment how much people dropped off. That's what they're saying. Uh, official evidence. There's statistical evidence of 80% drop, according to this person. Here's two graduated livers doing weekly project together. And you forgot to exist. Uh, for real, the podcast is so good. They're both so great together and great yappers. It's criminal that they aren't getting more people up. It's because it's a freaking podcast, of course, like I said. Even if it's given too much attention, it's obvious they're coping about the podcast being successful. They're pretty much trying to push their own narrative on this whole thing. It's not right. It's not fair. Like I said, podcasts are a niche product, and of course, it's going to drop off. This is the thing that a lot of people are waiting for. I have this in my uh, my community post, my everything. Advent is getting the debut this summer. They're getting the 3D debuts. It's probably going to be sometime around June, late June. It's not going to be in early June because early June is the the Tempest, uh, the Tempest, I believe, 3D, which is shown right here. So the Tempest 3D, whatever, is going to be the ones that are going to be in, in the beginning of June up to the 15th. So I'm pretty sure the showcase, the VG 3D showcase, the, the ones for... Uh, for the girls is probably going to be sometime in probably July because as far as I know from what I remember a uh, hollow life likes us uh, spreading it out so that one thing doesn't conflict with the other and one thing doesn't take from the other so they're going to probably be splitting these things out but the big news is that uh, they're both getting their 3ds Advent announced their 3D debuts before Luxium got to announce theirs. Let that sink in. On another note, let's effing go. Uh, looks like the cover's pushing their current talents to 3D this year to be really packed with additions from Tempest, Advent, Regloss, Artemis. Uh, and the Kurosanji boys don't have a... And <laughs> none of them have a proper 3D model. They might be pushing things forward now because all this stuff is happening. Quite happy to see that they're going to get their 3Ds. It was expected for both gens. They were all in Japan. You know, basically, here's we're going to, of course, be showing the official tweet. The official tweet from Hololive Production is here. It's uh, the first time Novella, Biju, Narissa, Shiori, all these people are going to be getting it. Follow their stuff. It, is, it has been announced that they're going to be getting it. Not exactly the dates when it's going to be happening. It's good times. And of course, here we have 
the uh, one the announcement from hololive our hololive themselves big announcement 3d showcase coming very soon not surprised isn't it nice that we can have things like this happening and uh you know basically happening uh in real time and a normal schedule now having to wait so long because of covid before really sucked because yeah before it was the lockdown that happened that prevented it from happening because they had to go to japan to get everything rigged properly because a lot of them don't have a good 3d rig for like a 3d motion capture for their home i know kiara does i know ahmed does i believe but most other people don't honestly i can't wait to see them in their official 3d forms and with that adam becomes the quickest overseas gen to get 3d we've made so much progress from the days of lockdown um hope this becomes a new norm uh narissa's probably gonna be doing a uh people are saying they're probably gonna be doing a fuamoko tummy touch because she wants to redeem that and redeem it in 3d so she's gonna be having that you're gonna be hearing uh moko go go no way no way like in her hoarse voice if she still has it unfortunately this is a non-niji one uh which is good because i like you know putting non-niji stuff in here of course a lot of this stuff is niji sanji based because niji sanji does give a lot of uh content Un unfortunately because that means that they are doing bad things uh but let's go on to other things Halev advent got their 3d remember that this girl uh which in 2020 said in passing that if she got a 3d she was going to use sign language many people in this sub is mainly ex niji fans uh they wanted people to actually see this person let's take a look at this vtuber who is doing this yofi yofi is doing sign language for her um for her 3d <clears throat> She's singing and she's doing sign language. She learned sign language for her stuff. That's amazing. It's it's very, very cool for anybody, whether it be, uh, you know, ID, whether it be uh, Hollow Life, whether it be whoever. It is very, very nice that Iofi was doing something like this. It is very, very wonderful. It is it is good to see. It's nice to see. It's heartwarming to see that Iofi uh, did this uh, as a kind of like thank you to everybody. And of course, they promised it, so they completed the promise. I love that. A reminder that WrestleTuber was a victory lap for Doki because of all the things that she suffered while she was still in that old company that she's no longer a part of, so we won't talk about that specifically. But she had WrestleTuber in that one. She created it for them. She did the whole thing for them. And now she is uh, able to get at least the benefits from it. And um, she was mistreated by her previous company. She was treated as someone that was no longer welcome there, you know, because she was very independent and that went against the the, the culture, the internal culture of Nidhi Sanji, as we already know it. So she felt that she was unmarketable, but things like WrestleTuber, being able to get all those wonderful people in WrestleTuber and things like that can show her, hopefully, that she is um, very much someone who is uh, very easily uh, marketable, very easily someone that is going to be doing well and that she's able to enjoy herself funny any color treats its livers like replaceable beings but actually any color itself is easily replaceable it really is mean reach, mint reaching out first solidifies an important thing that she actually likes doki enough as a friend to accept the risk of backlash yes because uh, mint reached out to doki first and yes she did so that shows that people don't don't hate her that shows that she isn't disliked in the community she's loved in the community we all know this now but of course, the way Niji Sanji treats their talents, it makes them feel like they aren't loved at all. Technically, she also had Niji EN WrestleTuber 2. Just the ex Niji, Mint Matara Usan was a big W for Doki. It's a statement from her uh, that she is part of the majority. I'm surprised there's no JP Rat that noticed this event. JP Fanbase should notice that Doki's brand alone outsizes Niji EN brand, at least in CCV. Sounds like the event pretty well too. Just happy that she's now free to be herself and be happy with what she's doing. This uh, little thing is here. It's not about winning or losing. It's about enjoying life. When you enjoy it, it does not matter if you win or lose. Exactly. That's what I try to do. I try to enjoy life. Whether I win or lose is inconsequential. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys. And that's what Doki's doing as well. Probably the biggest threat to Niji EN right now, at least in CCV and stuff like that. Pretty well gathering around her, sponsors and VTubers alike. And people are abandoning Niji, just like Height did and other uh, sponsors and other smaller uh, people did against Niji. So that is the big win that Doki has in this case. Now it's a bit of meme time, as I always try to put at least a little bit of meme time whenever I can, whenever there are memes to show. This is Doki and Mint VTubing powerhouse duo reunited. Yes, it's that, uh, that meme of the two bros with the really, really, really powerful biceps. 
you know, doing the, uh, giving themselves, you know, a handshake or whatever. Uh, it's Doki and Mint, and Mint, Doki, you son of a bee. Uh, the source is this one, of course, because I always like showing the source, and I'm glad that this person did too. This is the source for that meme here. And, uh, of course, we have uh, Kurosanji needs more VTubers. Meet for the Kurosanji grinder. Of course, they're going to try to grind as much as they can. They're going to try to grind the talents down into the meat grinder and see what sticks, see what they can get for benefits, see what they can get for some kind of uh, monetary benefit. Of course, because you have the situation where you are, uh, of course, going to uh, have uh, Dinoth not doing so well. TTT has been forgotten by Nidhi Sanji, not by us, but you know, I, I wish TTT did better. I wish Dinoth did better. All that kind of stuff is happening. So of course, you know, and they have things down here, of course, reminding people that their recent need for speed and from the darkness have not been doing well. So that is a meme in and of itself. Like I said, I hate that it's happening to the livers because they're trying to do their best, but they got into Nidhi EN and that is unfortunate, but that is something that is going to happen to them right now. Hopefully no harassment, but you know, it becomes a meme at this point. Even though they have shut everything down in the sense of you can't post in there, we have uh, three posts deleted by moderators and three posts deleted by others. There's a lot of posts here deleted by a bunch of different people. Fortunately, unfortunately, they are getting deleted. They are getting uh, hit hard by this, and that is something that um, they, they still want to get rid of everything, unfortunately. Uh, but that is just something, a little bit of an update that I want to give you in regards to that, in regards to everything that's going on. They're going to keep deleting it. The green, it, blue is post deleted by user. Green is post deleted by Reddit filter. Uh, orange is user's been suspended by Reddit. Pink is user's been banned by Reddit. So yeah, you have banned suspensions, all that kind of stuff being hit in this whole thing. And it does not look great for them. It does not feel great for them. It is not a great thing. But, uh, you know, when you have a closed system like this, it's going to happen. This is a bit of Sayu news. This person is wondering if things will get better with Sayu because of the things that happened with Zion, things that happened with Kenji, people trying to bring bad stuff. It says it's getting better, but it's slow. She just started to heal. It will be hard for both her and Synchronites, but as long as they're talking about a group you're part of third person is so weird, are with her, it, as long as there are people supporting her, it will happen. Because it's weird that there are people that will, you know, do that kind of stuff, just be mean, just for the sake of being mean. It really does suck for Sayu in this case, for people to be evil in that sense. Um, uh, it can take years. It will take years to recover. On 4chan, taking them seriously, especially since the fall of NYF Co. You know, uh, there's a hope that the ex Niji livers would talk to her or even entertain the thought of talking to her. It's kind of putting a hindrance for me, the joy that they may have. It will take a while for people to recover from any bad take. It will take a while for people to recover from um, a situation like Sayu had. They will take a while for it to recover. It will take a while for someone to fully recover from all this type of stuff that's happening, of course. It will, it, she is recovering. She does have her community to recover with. She does have her things to recover with. Uh, get your sentiment, but at this point, you do have to realize that uh, having forced people liking Sayu, that like people will like Sayu if they're going to like Sayu, they're going to hate Sayu if they're going to hate Sayu. But at the very least, don't continue trying to make it a thing about her past life. Leave the past in the past. It's going to be hard because, you know, Zion was part of a large company. Zion was part of a large situation that was going on here. It is going to stay in the zeitgeist. It is going to stay in people's minds for years. It will take a while for this to go and change. Um, but all we can do as people who support her, because I'm someone who supports her, is give her positivity, uh, forget about the bad people that are doing things, and then just, you know, continue on with the positive side of everything. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.